Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a completely new show. This is Tatami Galaxy or I think the Japanese name is um, Yojohan Shinwa Taike. Um, I have heard about this show for quite a while and I think this show is a lot, um, what can I say, dialogue heavy and a lot of like there's a lot of reading to do. So like I'm reacting to it. Okay, I might be, you know, uh, kind of quiet throughout the whole reaction because I'll have to like check out the subtitles and everything and I'll discuss about it in the end and I'll try my best to react to it properly but uh, like you know I'll probably have to backtrack back to the after the reaction ends because it's a timer reaction and I cannot pause pause it midway so after it ends I'll backtrack and like uh, check out if I have any problem you know carrying uh, like <clears throat> kind of keeping up with it but I'll try my best and I've heard that this is a lot similar to like this has a lot of Monogatari vibes and I kind of like I, I really love Monogatari like it's like the best anime that I've ever watched so being a big fan of Monogatari and I'm really like looking forward to checking this out and I think uh, people usually do not react to this series as well I've only found one or two uh, like reactors who have reacted to Tata Imi Galaxy in YouTube so yeah like uh, let's see what this is about like i've been hearing uh, like when i watch monogatari i've been hearing about this show for quite a while so like i'm doing youtube now so i thought why not make a reaction out of it so yeah let's see if i have a big brain or not you know because <laughs> i think understanding this anime newcast a big brain let's see how big my brain is so yeah guys uh, without further ado let's get started with this reaction this is tatami galaxy episode number one so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <laughs> okay, ramen, neko ramen. There's a shrine. Oh my god, I'm feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> oh damn, who is this? Boarding house. <laughs> okay, he saw him before. God, okay. <laughs> Come on, what? <laughs> I love this art style, everything I love about this. Okay. Okay, the, the god has spied on him for quite a while. Gods need train, train fare? Mm. Oh, is that so? Akashi-san. 
What? Yeah, me as well. Oh! Oh! So this is like a... So this Akashi-san... is everyone thinks that but it's not actually what happens <laughs> tennis circle oh <laughs> wow okay Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, that's a shame. Okay. Oh, is this also? Oh, uh, yeah. Worst contact. And... Hmm. <laughs> Don't blame them. What the hell? <laughs> Lonely. <laughs> okay. okay, where is she? Let's see. What? I can't see anything. Okay, that's Akashita. Wait, she's drinking? Designing in the... <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> okay. What? What did she say? Oh! Oh!
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> This is amazing. I am really loving this. Damn, he really looks like a yokai. <laughs> <laughs> the river is shallow. Oh my god. <laughs> Cutting the red strings. Wow. <laughs> so there's a the cock blockers. Globally. Wow. The black cupid. <laughs> Just give up. No use. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's friendship. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. Damn. You know. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Every astrologer says the same thing. A fortune teller, whatever you call them. Opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Do I have it all as well? Oh, what? Oh, that's what? <laughs> Who is this? Bundle of fungi. Dental hygienist. Oh. Dentist. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> also, that's why the god came to him. Okay. But Okay. Oh. Kohinata. Oh no. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's really the devil. <laughs> Black thread of... Oh no. Oh my god. <coughs> Senpai. Oh! Akashi san is here. She is extremely like Senjo Gahara.
Damn. Promise? What promise? Oh. <laughs> Soft drift over the <laughs> Whoa! Damn, the laser beams! <laughs> you just keep doing your things your way. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, at least it bring brought something. Uh. <laughs> Master. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think so, you know, like random people won't come and talk stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like. But, you know, like... <laughs> I got you good! <laughs> yeah, he might do that. Whoa. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole thing with also as well, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, don't eat too much. You might like What? What is that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I squished it. Oh my god. Oh, does he, she do that too like for nervousness? Okay, everyone, no one is fond of knots. Oh. <laughs> the earth is round, you don't shoot a meat again. <laughs> oh, that promise! Did he forget about it? Oh, yeah, that. Hmm. 
the reason okay 210 whose whose door is this oh oh this is the god was he sleeping or something like <laughs> oh my god wait wow this is amazing i'm really loving this <laughs> yeah like a goal like like fulfill the promise What's that flashing light that's coming out? Oh, people are taking photographs. Okay. Oh yeah, he has the thing in her in his hand. So that will act as a topic for conversation. <laughs> oh, there he is. She is. <laughs> Come on, give her that thing. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. What the hell? Wait, he also knows about the god. <laughs> oh! Damn! <laughs> cool! Oh no! Okay! Um... Oh! He they threw him! What was <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, is that really the end? I think so. <laughs> okay, um I did not expect something like this. This is <laughs> What can I say? Like, this is it's even more difficult to follow than Monogatari. <laughs> it's as if he's running a marathon. Like, the way he's talking. I kind of understood, like, what happened. I, I, I was able to properly keep up with everything. Uh, I really did not think I would be able to keep up with it because, um, you know, because of the speed and everything. And oh my god, the way it started and the way it ended, it is so unique. The art style is so unique. The what can I say? Like the atmosphere, the characters, like I love this. This is really amazing. And <coughs> okay, so let's talk about this episode. So 
So th this is what happened, as far as I understood. Uh, this guy, um, he, uh, I, I barely remember their names. I think I only remember Ozu's name and Akashi's name, and I forgot his name. But I'll, I'll check it out later on. Um, uh, so yeah, this is what happened. This guy, he like, uh, from, like he uh, went to the tennis, like you know, club when he was new at school. Uh, 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 new at I think high school or college, whatever that was. Uh, new at it, he decided to like you know do uh like, what do you call it? A high school debut as they say in anime or like you know like when you completely change the way you uh, like you know interact and live with like you know you've spent your life and you try to become popular in high school that's why he like went into like he had this whole thing in his mind that oh my god i'm going to the new high school like i'll have like new friends uh like a new like you know a lot of girls will like interact with each other then we'll fall in love and every, everyone like that the way it like everyone envisions their high school life or the college life unfortunately that's not what happens <laughs> like majority in majority case and in minority it might happen but anyways uh, <laughs> so like he had this kind of a thing and he decided to go to the tennis club you know because why like popular people go to the tennis club there's this like you know like girls are also there and like it, it's, a, it's a like it's a like what do you call it like um a good way uh, if you want to like you know become popular he went to the tennis club unfortunately stuff did not happen the way he envis envisioned <laughs> he was unable to hit any balls and no one talked with him and he was sad and then he met ozu like as he said the like yokai or the devil in his like life and they become really good friends and they <laughs> like they used to like mess with people and the, the people's love lives and they like it came to be known like they came to be known as the black cupids as they used to like whenever there's like a relationship growing they used to come and cut it down <laughs> and um the same way like they kind of uh <coughs> Like did the same thing in the in the whole firework festival where like Ozu and he was sitting and they were thinking like that should we do our like the thing that we do again and then like <clears throat> like oh I think his name is Akashi wasn't it yeah I think so then uh, no Akashi was a girl oh god anyways uh, I forgot the guy's name but anyways like and they decided and he saw that uh, Akashi San like Akashi is there and he said no 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 wait like uh, she is there like we should probably not do it and like also said oh you're betraying us the way we like lived our life and then like they did it anyways <laughs> and like uh, akash kind of said that aho the thing and uh, the like fireworks like went into the other you know like uh, other shore <laughs> like, it was a mess and <clears throat> and then what and uh, then there was this whole thing with the the i think it was uh, after like what do you call it like an after oh no uh no after that we uh get to a portion where um oh i forgot to mention about the god like a lot of things happen so i'm like missing a few parts the god the god is from the shrine you know uh the the shrine uh of what what was the name of the shrine she Shimon Gamut's shrine and his name is Kamo Taketsuni Mono Kami. Kamo Taketsuni no Kami. I'll forget it, but anyways, um, yeah. And <laughs> like he, like he said that okay, like we are gods and we are usually like you know like we gather and we kind of like uh like match make. We do the matchmaking for people and he like brought out his book and said that you my uh, uh, like dear sir you and there's like this other girl akashi who are probably going to be like you know matched there's also another guy this ozu guy so <clears throat> it's like a like he might also get matched with akashi so <laughs> like uh so like you make a decision like uh, you know like if you want me to like match her with you or ozu Something like that or like Ozu will steal her away from you or something like that he said and <clears throat> now one thing I'm thinking did he only come to him and said this or did he also go to Ozu and said the same thing you know because I'm quite curious because it's th th like three people are involved in this if he came to this guy and told him about that I'm sure he must have gone to Ozu and to Akashi as well I might be wrong I might be completely wrong maybe like he is like you know like is what can you say like is 
kind of prioritizing him like he i don't know like uh, kind of prefers him or something that's why he went only to uh, the main character and told him about this or he might have gone to ozu as well um i think uh, the possibility that he also went to ozu is a little bit high because you know i felt as if the whole story i felt as if ozu was trying to uh, push uh, the main character uh, i should probably check out his name um, i'm like always referring to him as the main character just a sec guys I'll, I'll check out his name i i really forgot his name like among all of these like subtitles um watashi watashi his name is watashi yo that's a really easy name to remember watashi akashi and ozu okay and uh, so yeah and excuse me so what was i saying okay i was saying that <clears throat> maybe he also won't went to ozu and said that because throughout the whole episode i felt as if ozu was trying to push uh, watashi uh, towards akashi you know was trying to like hook them up in a way i'm not sure but i felt as if like you know he was kind of saying that oh like uh, like you, like you might understand her well she might understand you well you know when they were talking with the whole castella in front of them and um he was also kind of in the end like he was trying to like you know motivate him when like uh, watashi kind of like went past akash and did not talk properly he like came in in that like like cross dressing and he said that like uh, like what are you doing like go back what did he say at that moment like um, just a sec like he he really motivated him at that moment <clears throat> and uh, yeah he's saying that now's the time to grab the opportunity <coughs> and he, he also says that if you don't make a serious move now i'm jumping from the, here like he, he was really trying to motivate him and um i think maybe uh the god also went to ozu and told him about this situation and ozu thought that okay like like let me just hook my friend up with akashi uh, i'm not sure if like god the god went to akashi or not but uh the possibility of the god going to ozu is a little bit high in my op opinion at least uh, or maybe like uh, akashi like uh, or maybe like ozu really wanted uh, like even without the god's intervention the ozu really wanted uh, like to who came up with akashi that might also be it um <clears throat> and uh oh no yeah here is the proof he says that don't defy the words of a god hurry up and run along the path of love yeah he, that, that kind of proves it so the god also went to him that means i think so yeah otherwise where the hell did he know about the god you know but anyways um <clears throat> so yeah like uh this is really good you know and i have to say like everything the art style the way the story is going and uh, um that's art style is pretty unique um and the characters are really interesting in my opinion because i think i have never like i think monogatari is the only uh, anime where i like really like the characters in the first episode um and this is also another one like um this is really rare because it, it takes a little bit of time to like get used to the characters and really like the characters but in this first episode the way it went i really loved all of the characters and um another thing uh, is like uh okay so let me just finish talking about the whole episode and then like a uh, and another thing i'm thinking like he says he goes to the god in 210 room and he says that like okay like i've made a decision you should probably not match make uh, akashi with ozu you match make her with me and the god like phone called something and said that okay like come to this place uh, and then he, he decided to like uh, like make a uh, you know like an opportunity for them to interact unfortunately watashi was unable to properly interact but you know like that will uh, i'm sure that will uh, be cleared out as time goes on and then a weird thing happens like then like ozu comes in and says that i'll jump and then there's like these <laughs> like you know the other club members they're like says are you damn traitor 
and everything else they were like fall like going towards him and ozu i think ozu jumped did ozu jump yeah i think so he, he jumped and <laughs> like and then like uh, watashi also goes and jump and i don't know what happened in the end like he like like ozu says some uh, and watashi says something that um like if i like chose something else some other club maybe my life would have gone somewhere differently these two years and then like weird the weird thing happens and everything gets rewinded back i'm not sure and then it abruptly ends um i'm sure the next episode will like answer a lot of questions and uh, yeah so yeah uh, as i was saying so uh, one thing i really noticed in this episode the main character uh, like the main female character uh, akashi she is extremely similar to senjo gahara hitagi from uh, like from monogatari and uh, especially the way she talks and the way she kind of her mannerisms and everything everything is not like hitagi she is a lot more what can i say uh, like hitagi like senjo gahara hitagi is a lot more stoic you know a lot more like she is a lot more kudre but akashi is like is not that much but she kind of interacts with watashi but at the same time it it feel like like she gave off senjo gahara hitagi vibes and yeah and um this is amazing um <laughs> and thankfully i was able to keep up with the subtitles i don't know how many episode will i be able to do this I'm I'm bound to get into like you know like into a problem later sooner or later uh, trying to follow it, but I'll try my best to keep uh, up with the subtitles because this is very difficult you know because I'm reacting to the show as well, and um, yeah like I might have to go backtrack some times like after the episode ends uh, to like trying to like like catch each and every detail. And another thing we like we got to know is it turns out that um, Akashi and uh, Watashi they kind of interacted before. I felt I thought that maybe they they did not, but they interacted before when they were like kind of sitting down, and then this like moth came in, you know, and she was afraid of it, and her like the squishy toy like got lost or something, and they made a promise of like Neko uh, like Neko Ramen. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, what is it called uh, i think that f- that thing that they make ramen with it's called uh, like neko jara jiga what is it called neko jarashi i think just a second let me just check um uh, yeah uh, neko jarashi i think you know it's like uh what what is what is the actual name of it um i mean the english name uh let me i'm just checking it you know ah uh, i cannot find it neko jarashi neko jarashi um I cannot find it, but uh, the uh, like English name, but it's called Neko Jarashi. You know those things that kind of cats kind of play with. <laughs> uh, in Doctor Stone, like I think Senku made uh, the ramen with the Neko Jarashi. I think, uh, like the whole like the flower or, or the thing that they make uh, ramen with, uh, the dough. I think they made it with that. I think uh, they were talking about the same thing here. Like you know they were calling it Neko Ramen, so it's made with that Neko Jarashi. So like that's just something that I noticed, you know. So yeah, <clears throat> it was a really good. I really was not expecting something this good. Like I'm extremely impressed, you know. Like I'm really impressed with this show, and I'll like obviously I was going to continue this, but like my motivation is like throughout like uh, like <laughs> what do you call it like. Uh, out of the roof now and i am really looking forward to the next episode and uh, like reacting to it like this is really unique i love this uh, first episode the way they introduced every character and each and everything like this is so damn like in the beginning i was like what is happening how like is this going on fast forward or something like i was really overwhelmed then it like took a little bit time to get used to the way they're talking but yeah i'm really glad i started this show and <laughs> this will be a fun ride 
So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. So this was Tatami Galaxy episode number one. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed this show. This was really good. And if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll definitely be checking them out. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tatami Galaxy. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.